Welcome to Robert Lloyd, where I show the ins and outs of graphic design as it pertains to logos, t-shirts, and GIF animations. Today, people, today, I am showing you how to make a Snapchat filter in Photoshop and Illustrator. So I'm going to start out in Photoshop first, which is easier for most people. In there, I'm going to discuss screen size and resolution. From there, I want to discuss export files and saving. And then I'm going to move into Illustrator where I do the exact same thing and show you how to export it out for web in there as well. So today is a very elaborative tutorial. I hope you guys like it. If you're new, I want to welcome you to my channel. And if at any time you have a question, leave it in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer it. But let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. Now, Snapchat filters are fairly simple to make. All you have to do is get the setup right. So the recommended size for a screen size is just 1080 width by 1920 length. And since Snapchat is a web application, we can give it anything between 70 DPI and 110 DPI, and we can just proceed from there. So set up your borders and margins just like normal and start designing. If you get stuck, just upload a picture for reference. Now there's about three factors that you have to take in consideration when you're doing Snapchat filters. The first one is the elements. As long as they're not distracting the overall image, you're pretty much fine. Just don't go overboard and design something that just doesn't make sense. The second thing is legibility. Can you read it? Will it work in multiple places? So having an all white or an all black doesn't work all the time. So you have to take into account that there might be times we have to perform a stroke. Once you got that all into place, the third most important element is the file size and type. So go to file, export, and save for web. Now the rules for the feature is that you can't upload anything that's over 300 kilobytes. And that's really tiny when you really think about it. But if you've been following this guide, you're pretty much okay. Now naturally you want to upload something that doesn't have a background image behind it. So you can actually put the image on top of the image that you're taking. So basically you want to save a PNG file type and you're pretty much ready to go after that. Now Illustrator is a tad bit different. You might have to edit your elements out just a little bit, but once it's done, you can just proceed the same way that you did in Photoshop. Now the trick here is to mask your picture using the clipping mask so you can have your reference. But once you're satisfied with your reference and your design, go to File, Export, Save for Web, and then get the PNG file again. And as a quick note, you actually have to upload that GL filter to Snapchat.com to get that going for the day. It does cost, so be mindful of that. But with that being said, you guys, I want to close this tutorial out. Stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.